Hello, welcome back. Uh, essentially, in the last couple of videos, we are creating different kinds of scenario, and then so far we have discussed these four kind of scenarios. So in this video, let's take an another interesting case. So let's assume that you are the administrator of this e-learning application website. All right, and this e-learning application is let's say is running on a server, and let's say this server is two CPU and four gigabyte. RAM. All right. So now this two CPU server. Let's say you you are asking a question to yourself that how many users, okay? So how many users be supported on this server where you have some guidelines that the users whenever they are going to uh, send a request to the website they should get the response back in less than one second. Okay. And also another thing is that you know this is called a service level agreement okay so that means you are promising your customer that you should get back a response from my website in less than one second but however let's say we are just running one user is active right now accessing this website it may be accessible it may be possible that he can get the response back in one second how about when we have a 1 million users 1 million users are accessing that same 2 CPU 4 gigabyte machine then I don't expect the, resp the server to respond them back in one second maybe the server is going to crash okay so these kind of things like you know one user we know that's going to work 1 million we know that's not going to work but don't you as an administrator of this website are you not curious to see how many users can this server support okay so that is the idea of doing the load testing and 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 you you simulate the user activity and those simulation are called scripts and we are now going to build a scenario okay and that scenario is going to tell us that we can support let's say 20 users okay so that is the answer that i need to know so basically my question here is what kind of scenario that you are going to create that is going to give you this answer okay notice in that in this kind of scenarios which are also called manual scenario in case of manual scenario we are running a 20 user or 40 user or 100 user test and we are getting a response time or we are getting transactions per second and so on okay so basically what you're saying is that you have an input in manual scenario the input is number of users and output is is average response time and there we basically giving we are basically you know uh, you know after looking at the average response time and other parameters we are we are making a call that okay this 20 users it can support then we are going to run maybe we can increase the load to say 40 users and run the same basic scenario and see what kind of average response time we are getting but these things are going to be repetitive, right? Like you know, 20, 40, 60, and so on. But however, if my question is that okay, I am happy with one second response time. If I am giving, if I am, if I am stating that my goal of average response time should be less than one second, the question is that how many users I can run? Okay. So to do that, Load Runner gives you an option called Goal Oriented Scenario. So in the Goal Oriented Scenario, we can give that what is our goal our goal is average response time less than two second or another of our goal is transactions per second so what is a transaction so let's take a look at this thing so this is a script like simple script i am accessing the module home page and i am saying that i am wrapping that one that uh, web url request in a transaction start and transaction end so that means if i run 100 times then i'm going to do 100 transactions so if I'm going to do this 100, 100 transactions in say 100 transactions in say 50 second then the transactions per second is 100 by 50 that means I'm getting two transactions per second okay so therefore another goal I can say that my transactions per second should be equal to 50 so tell me like you know if my transactions per second is 50 then how many V users should I run okay and another thing may be called throughput like you know uh, so uh, an another so let me delete this thing 
so so another uh, you know an, an, another matrix may be the throughput so what is the throughput of the server per second maybe like you know i'm going to get one gigabyte per second throughput okay so if i want to run one gigabyte per second throughput then how many virtual users that i am going to run okay so these are the goals okay and then if i give the scenario that achieve this goal then what load runner is going to do is this let's say we give the load run uh, the controller a goal that transaction per second should be equal to 3 and then we say that okay you start with with one virtual user okay so then what's going to happen so it's a time t is, it's a timeline when the scenario is going to start load runner is going to start only one virtual user so with one virtual user running this sample script let's say it get three let's say let's say it it, it it get one transaction per second okay but that means with one virtual user i cannot achieve my stated goal of three transactions per second so in that case what's going to happen i'm going to increase the load runner adaptively while running that running the test is going to increase the the virtual users from one to say two virtual users so this is starting at one and at this time is going to make two virtual users at time at, at this time okay with two virtual users let's say it get a transactions per second so that is let's say 1.5 so that means we wanted to have three transactions per second even with, even with the two users we are not able to get one point you know get three transactions then the load runner is going to start one you know two more virtual users or, or it will it will it will it will it will, it will, it will, de it will determine how many what is the next step of the user to start and it will start that many number of users and then let's say it's going to start say four v users and still and it got 2.5 transactions per second that means still it is not achieving the goal right then it is going to run let's say seven virtual user let's say with seven virtual user it's going to have a transaction per second that is 3.5 so which is actually more than whatever our stated goal then it will ramp down it will it will it will it will it will go with six virtual users and let's say with six virtual user we are getting close to three transactions per second and let's say that goal is achieved like at this time okay at time t is equal to let's say 15 minute okay after that we're going to stay that okay it run now and once you achieve this goal with six virtual users now let's, let's run for say 30 minutes okay and then you ramp down so did you see how like you know with a iterative process load runner controller determines that we would we would like to have this many num this many number of transactions per second and it achieved the goal after it after after couple of trial and error okay so this you know this kind of scenario is very useful when we do not know anything okay when, when you do not know anything about server characterization and all those things but however we know the script we know what are the actions that needs to be done so once you know what are the actions needs to be done then what you can do you can create a goal oriented scenario and then you, st you state your goal then controller by trial and error method is going to achieve that goal.